Welcome to the MindTap training video, How to Use MindTap's Coding IDE. Coding lab assignments are displayed in your course learning path. As an example, this HTML5 course includes a number of lab assignments. After you select an assignment, you'll receive a screen that confirms the lab you selected and provides relevant notes about the lab. Selecting Start Assignment Now launches the Coding IDE. When you first launch an assignment, the IDE will look something like this. The left panel will display the project description and your instructions. Everything you need to complete your assignment is presented here. The middle panel is your code editor. You will have some default code that helps you get started. When you type in this area, you are writing real code in a live coding environment. The right panel is your live console, where the results of code will be displayed when you test or run your code. In the lower right corner, you'll see a robot icon representing Cody, your personal coding assistant. To learn more about this tool, check out the video, How to Use Cody. Let's take a quick tour of some of the IDE controls. At the bottom of the left panel is a menu icon that displays the contents of the assignment's instruction guide. You can navigate to any section of the lab using this menu. At the top of the center panel, there is a settings icon. This drop-down menu includes project help, which displays frequently asked questions about the functioning of the IDE, such as how to save your code, how to test your program, or how to use Kodi. Settings also gives you the option to set the visual theme of the center panel to either light or dark, depending on your preference. Next to the settings icon, you'll see a file folder. This is where the files required for the website you're building are stored. The folder is pre-populated with the content you'll need. If you're instructed to add a file or directory, or to upload a file, simply select the plus icon at the top of the file folder dropdown. Select the plus and folder icons a second time to close them. Those are the basics. See the other videos in this series for tips on completing assignments. 